What's up, gamer? It's Barnes here. Um, this is my buddy Pete Ferraro. How's it going? <clears throat> Today I'm going to do another uh, PC profile. Um, we're going to talk about Pete's character, Ballin. Um, he's a. Uh, well, why don't you tell us? Yeah, uh, Ballin. Ballin, sorry. Everybody calls him Ballin. Uh, he's a Frost Dwarf Warblade who is basically focused on being a tank in the party. He has high hit points. You can deal high damage now, but he's mainly focused around uh, controlling as many enemies as he can. That's his party role, you would say? Yeah. yeah. Um, would you say maybe it's possible you could be the party leader? or? Um. Just yeah, I, I feel like the being as cool he's chaotic the neutral, a lot of the good party members tend to uh, override him as being a leader, but yeah, in combat, the definitely. They're, they're Alright, um, <clears throat> let's talk about a little bit about his personality. Um, what, are, what are his likes, dislikes? Um, he's kind of a loose cannon. He tries his hardest to do one thing and that is really be the best combatant that he can. He doesn't really have uh, um, too many other things that he wants to be good at. He just wants to be the best warrior that he can and he wants to protect people. Like prior, does he have, does he have like some kind of aversion to fire? Or? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah he, he doesn't like fire. Yeah, he doesn't like fire at all. He's a frost dwarf. Yeah. Kind of <clears throat> runs away from fire. And um, since we're playing Rise of the Rune Lords, I, I had his character come from the Lin, Linworm Kingdoms, um, up near the uh, crown of the world, <clears throat> uh, and came down to Verizia. Um And he is a combat-focused character, but let's talk about some of your combat techniques, um, some of the different um, maneuvers and stuff you apply. Well, I, I pretty much try and get out early right into the front of combat I use whips uh, with improved trip to um, try and control people and knock them down give the party bonuses and uh, the warblade has um, maneuvers that they can add as bonuses to their to their role I guess they they uh, can deal quite a bit of damage with them and at the same time give themselves uh, bonuses to AC. Uh, they can penetrate DR and hardness, so it makes it uh, better as a tanking more, class. Too. More effective. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the last session. It was a big session for your character. It was a big session. My, uh, my character died last session. Yo, you uh, held it down, man. <laughs> um, they were fighting a, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Revenant. Revenant. And uh, it's always been one of my favorite D&D &D monsters. Um, you know, somebody murdered coming back to the death to avenge themselves. Um, <clears throat> though, uh, I know his Pathfinder changed it up a little bit. Um, but they were fighting a, a Revenant. And uh, the Revenant takes direct... Uh, direct forms of combat so it's straight at you and uh, she prefers to attack uh, people that are guilty of, of wraith and uh, Pete's character has been, been guilty of wraith in the past um, keeping track of some certain sins during this uh, campaign and <laughs> Balin has been uh, guilty of wraith a few times <laughs> yeah a few uh, so has Cow Cow so I mean yeah. and uh, <coughs> Tark Tarkin. Tark Tarkus. 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 Excuse me. Um, I just keep thinking of Tarkin. I think that was in Star Wars. Which is Moff Tarkin. Maybe. Tarkin. Yeah, that's it. Um, <coughs> so uh, yeah, Balin Balin died in that. Uh, she took uh, I think thirty six points of damage. Yep, which was damn near minimum um, for three hits uh, from the uh, Revenant. <clears throat> and uh, you took it range dry, though, and uh, you, know, you had some interesting things to say uh, afterwards. Um, 
he, him being the strongest player in, in the character. Why don't you? Well, and, uh, well, I, um, you know, I, I died, but after afterwards, I wasn't really that upset about it because my character has the most hit points and the highest AC of anybody in the campaign. So. I feel more or less that I did the right thing because almost every other character in the campaign couldn't take 30 hit, 36 hit points without dying. In a and, single round, right? And I took three full round actions from the Revenant, and I feel that if I wasn't right out front stopping everybody else from getting hit, that it would have been a TPK pretty quickly. Yeah, it could have got wiped. <laughs> yeah, it definitely could have been uh, wiped. Well, I, I think that's uh, good advice for a lot of players out there who uh, get upset. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, sometimes you take one for the team, especially if you're playing the tank character. Yeah. Um, you know, in a situation like that, you did save a lot of lives by you know taking 60 some odd points of damage. Yeah, it is beneficial to keep the campaign going. And not to mention the number of attacks that missed you just because you have a high AC. Yeah. <clears throat> So there's a new prospector and a uh, player character death. Um, what, did, what did you think of the last session, The Haunted House? I thought it was awesome. Uh, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. it was it was cool. There wasn't too much combat and action and everything like that, but the room by room, uh, the uh, challenges that we had to overtake were pretty cool. And... Uh, there was a lot of stuff to do, and it just it wasn't like stuff in the aspect where everybody gets hurt halfway through the camp uh, through the dungeon, and we all have to uh, run back to the town or something like that to heal up. Like it, it was actually go through, and everybody overcomes their everybody's characters have have to overcome their own fears in one way or another, and I think that's a different aspect of the game uh, a cool way to look at it because it makes you have to role play a little bit more and I, I actually wrote the author of this uh, <coughs> particular module because we had some unique derailed features to our party coming into it and I'll share those with you guys in another video um, but your character uh, your character got brought back yep. via uh, what was the spell they used to bring him back? Um, we ended up using Raise Dead. Raise Dead. Raise Dead. So uh, they were basically heroes in the town of Sandpoint. And uh, they pulled all their own money together. Um, and they had been donating all their money, a lot of their money prior to that to uh, charities in town. Um, which was a mechanism I, I used to gain their interest. Uh, I gave them XPs for giving to uh, good charities in Sandpoint. Which is uh, something that Azric 83 Iron uh, was talking about in one of his videos, and it seemed like it fit right into my module, so I I gave it a shot, and uh, it's really helped out role playing a little bit, I think, um, as well as made up for those missed encounters that they, they miss sometimes. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, you got you got brought back to life, and now you guys are back off to the uh, the mansion. Yep, back to the mansion to finish off the uh, job. <clears throat> and you don't feel you feel strong coming back. Yeah, definitely. Cool. I, I feel like my character is still on top. Nice, nice. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll talk to you again soon. It's been my buddy Pete Ferraro. He plays uh, Balin, the uh, Frost Dwarf uh, Warblade. There you go.